So I made a bunch of different videos talking about my disappointment with Season of the Deep, but it's often about specific things that Bungie has done horribly. But today I'm going to summarise how Season of the Deep was for me, and also talk about the individual aspects of the season, starting with the story. Naturally I wasn't around for when Titan was in Destiny as an explorable planet, and I never really got the pleasure to run activities involving Sloane, so I didn't really have the nostalgia going into this season, but nevertheless, it was very cool to have the first mission being on the old Titan oil rigs, and eventually descending down into the depths. The narrative for this story definitely felt like a filler arc, which was a little bit disappointing. Like, we know the Witness went into the Traveller all the way back in Lightfall. We kind of all saw where he went, but the problem is that we can't follow him there for some reason or another. I really don't understand why for two seasons in a row there's been the comment of we don't know where the Witness has gone, when we clearly saw where he went. But I digress. Bungie did do one thing right by the story, and that's set up the next season properly by having Sloane utter the words the Witch Queen must rise, giving us a strong indication that the next season will be with the Hive and will probably have something to do with bringing back Sevathun. So overall, I think the story is passable at best and I think it will only be good if you have the nostalgia factor of seeing Lone and Titan again. But moving on to environments which are my favourite part of the season by far. The underwater areas left me in a sense of wonder which I haven't really experienced since Beyond Light, particularly when the snowstorms kick up on Europa. But when I was experiencing the areas for the first time, I actually wanted to properly explore and look around instead of just going through the activities or or even the dungeon. Not only that, the skyboxes also complement the environments really nicely, giving a very good deep sea vibe where it just fades out into pitch black darkness and even seeing huge creatures swimming around whilst we traverse the depths. But let's talk activities or basically the gameplay. And I will just say outright, whilst I did enjoy how the deep dives were structured and I like the idea of escalating difficulty in an activity to earn even greater rewards, Bungie needs to wake the fuck up and understand that swapping in red bar ads for mages and swapping mages for mini boss is a surefire way to make sure nobody plays the activity after you've already beaten it. Yes, I'm picking on deep dives to start with because it's arguably the worst example of difficulty scaling I've ever seen in gaming with the dungeon being a close second. If the difficulty escalation was just set enemies with escalating power levels, then I would have been happy with that. Gradually making the enemies tougher is more than a good challenge for a seasonal activity, and it doesn't need it to be bombarded with mages and mini boss enemies. When I see really lazy difficulty scaling like that, I half wonder if a modder actually got a job at Bungie, because it's exactly like playing an Elden Ring mod, but every enemy is Milena. The difference is, in the mod you can bypass Milenias that aren't in a boss instance, but Bungie's infinite wisdom proves itself again as they put in a timer, and also you're required to kill everything to proceed, or even protect something that will get crushed in literally a minute. Unless of course you can kill three mini bosses in probably about 10 seconds. So have fun with that if you're going to go for a tier 7 reward. But that's enough for the deep dives, and I didn't even talk about the shit show that is the exotic mission for the pathetic scout rifle known as Wicked Implement. Savage on the other hand, far more enjoyable than the deep dives which is very surprising because the last time I enjoyed a 6 man activity over the 3 man activity was all the way back in Season of the Splicer. Salvage is definitely a nice activity that you can just sort of switch off to and overall it's not difficult to do but definitely a nice experience. Finally we're going to talk about the quarterly activity which this time round is Solstice. Complete waste of time in my eyes because the glow is absolutely pitiful on all armor sets which seems to be a yearly trend at the minute where the armor glows are just getting worse and worse. Normally I would definitely be up for grinding out the Solstice armor, at least I'm a hunter, but this season I just got the armor set without the glow for Transmog and that's it. The glow is that pitiful that I just don't see a point in wasting my time grinding out the armor sets, which is a real shame because the armor sets themselves actually look fairly cool and they kind of remind me of a Clockwork Warrior kind of look. So in summary, Season of the Deep may as well be called Season of Disappointment because that's all Bungie really managed to deliver on in this season, which is really a shame because the aesthetics and the environment of everything this season was just brilliant. And literally all because of the difficulty scaling and the filler story, it just ruined everything. But that is it for the video season of the deep. Overall, not very good. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to hear about it. And as always, remember to leave a like on the video and I shall see you all in the next one.